Hi, Amy Fashion Toppings here with another painting project. Okay, so in previous videos, I compared the Deco, or Deco Art to the Art Mind, two different types of chalk paint. Both worked equally as well. Art Minds is just cheaper. And so that one kind of won out there. And then um, I did the jar, uh, mason jar project and I did use the Martha Stewart paints. Now all the paints seem to perform about the same, to be honest with you, it's just a difference in cost and the name brand. Um, but the only drawback, the Martha Stewart, the packaging, and I said it in my last video, the packaging is horribly designed. It's a tall skinny bottle, easy to knock over. The mouth of the bottle is too thin for any of the brushes other than that fine little small brush, which I'm not gonna paint a big dresser with a small little brush. So it forces you to have to buy another container or to dump the paint out onto another surface. And then um, if you dump too much out, you can't put it back in, it's thick, it's like glue. Um, the consistency of glue or, or you know, a run runnier mayonnaise, I guess. Um, but so you have a chance of wasting paint and it costs more. So um, in my bottom spot, as far as uh, liking of any of the chalk paints, it would be the Martha Stewart. The color was beautiful, but like I said, the packaging was horrible. Hard to open and just too small for a paintbrush. So today, I'm actually gonna mix my own. I've been watching several YouTube videos and the one video that I thought was the easiest when it came to mixing the chalk paints, I'm gonna link the video down below. Uh, he did a great job, very simple, you know, and made it very clear on how to mix it. So I'm gonna follow his instructions and I'm gonna mix my own chalk paint. I am gonna use a paint called Oyster Bay. It is actually the color of paint that I use for my master bedroom. So this is low luster. Now I recommend using a flat or matte paint. Um, but low luster is equivalent to, I believe, uh, eggshell, um, maybe a satin, but it's not glossy. Uh, so I am going to go ahead and use that paint since I have four gallons and don't have any place to put it. Um, so I'm gonna use the Oyster Bay paint and I'm going to make chalk paint out of it. I'm gonna paint the whole thing that color. Then I'm thinking I'm gonna leave the drawers alone with the green paint to distress them a little bit, but the rest of the cabinet, I'm gonna do, uh, what I'm planning on doing is crackle painting over it, put crackle uh, medium over it, and then put the porcelain um, cream on top of that so the green crackles through the cream colored um, in the base body part of this dresser and possibly leaving the drawers because I think it might get too busy if everything is crackled. And then I haven't decided yet, but I might inside the cabinets, I might decoupage but I haven't found anything that I like as far as a pattern yet, but I think I might decoupage inside these cabinets. Look at that. Um, just so that there's a little hint of a surprise when you open up, you'll see in there. So I think I'm gonna store the cleaning products in there. So if I decoupage, then I have that extra uh, kind of security of if anything spills, I, ha I can put a thick coat of um, polyurethane over it. And then um, when I'm all done, I'm gonna polyurethane or wax the whole thing. Probably, I'm probably gonna use my Krylon as I always do, we'll see. But let's go ahead and get started. Like I said, I took all the hardware off and removed the hardware because I'm not sure if I'm gonna change the hardware or if I'm gonna paint the hardware. That is to be, I'm, this is, I'm gonna decide as I go. So let's go ahead and mix the paint first. Okay, so I've got measuring cups, which I bought for a buck 99 at the grocery store, and this is gonna be strictly used for paint so I don't care if I ruin them, just little Tupperware ones. I got a little bit of water. I have Plaster Paris. This cost me $6.49, I believe at Michael's. $6.99 or $6.49, but I got this at Michael's. I found one of the jars that I wanted that have the fruit on it. I found that at the grocery store, so I don't care about ruining it um, for storing paint because I now know where to buy it. I uh, got it at the grocery store, so I'm gonna be using this to store the paint uh, once I've mixed it. I have a plate which I'm gonna pour the paint on um, and some plastic utensils for stirring. I have my Oyster Bay paint, which I'm gonna be using this, and paper towels, paper towels. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. First of all, I'm gonna, uh, the ratio is, um, that was Bella, uh, the ratio is one to three. One part plaster of Paris to three parts paint 
and I'm sure I'm gonna paint left over, but my husband found another project for me. He found an antique medicine cabinet, and he wants me to be creative and do something with it. So, let me open this. Okay, so I'm gonna use one-third plaster of Paris. I'm gonna pour that in here. One-third cup. And it's equivalent to baking. And once you do mix this, you have to do it quickly because it will harden if you don't like mix and get everything ready right away. Uh, get a wide mouth jar. Put in a little. I spilled some, so I'm gonna put another tablespoon in there. Okay. Okay, and then I'm going to mix a little bit of water in there at a time until I get the consistency of um, pancake batter or I think it was also described as mayonnaise or glue. Just put a little bit of water in there. Oh, that wasn't enough. Just stir until you get all the lumps out. And like the gentleman that I watched make his chalk paint, he said that the nice thing about using a glass jar is that you can see through it to make sure you got all the powder up. Okay, perfect. Okay. So once again, it is the consistency of pancake batter. Okay, now is the messy part. I need one cup of paint. It says I'm working with a gallon of paint because I didn't want to go buy paint. I have to scoop into it. So I gotta get my paper towels ready. Okay, I'm gonna scoop in one cup of paint. Oopsie. And I'm gonna pour it in there. I got a gnat keep flying around me. Okay, stir that. I'm gonna stir it first, then I'm gonna shake it. But I wanna get it all kinda blended together first. You can see through the jar whether it's not, it's blended or not. Okay, now I'm going to shake it. That's gonna be a pretty color. I can see through the jar, there's a big chunk of white. Okay. Okay, so I've got it all shaken up. Now, we can start putting our first coat on the dresser. Okay, so I'm just gonna put a first coat on, on this. I'm not gonna show you the entire process of painting this thing, but, um, so I have my paint. Nice thing about these jars too is that now I already have this color mixed. If I want to do anything to match it, I already have the paint. I can just keep it in the jar as long as I keep it sealed. Okay, got my paper towels close by. I'm gonna pour a little bit onto this plate. Take paintbrush, get the paint off the lid. That way it won't stick when you try to open it the next time too much. Okay. So I poured a little bit onto the plate. I'm using my Craft Smart paintbrush. That was the one that I told you. I've been using it for all the projects. I just wash it immediately when I'm done and it's good to go. So I'm just going to paint this entire project. A nice thin coat. It'd probably be two coats. So the first one, I'm just putting, on, putting it on, not worrying about streaks. Second coat, I'm probably gonna pay attention to the streaks a little bit. So, just, and the only thing I've done to, prepare, uh, to prep this is um, remove the knobs and wipe it all down. Now, when you just dab into your paint, 
like I forgot, I just did that just now. When you dab into your paint, the first place you don't want to go is right over the holes where the knobs used to be. Save that for when your brush is almost dry because now I gotta keep going back because it's gonna wanna drip out of the knobs. So. <clears throat> I'm painting over the hinges. I'm painting this um, part of the door handle would not come off. It's glued on. And so I'm painting over that as well. These drawers do not come out. They're permanent and I can't, I remove the other two drawers. I'll paint those when they're not in the um, unit. But these two are fake drawers, so that's why I did not remove them. I will be painting the inside too of this cabinet, but I think I'm gonna do it a contrasting color. I haven't decided yet, or I'm gonna decoupage everything. So I might do it the green, I might not. I'm just kind of making it up as I go. in the jam because I did the inside and then I did the doors um, but it's a very thin coat you can see it because you can actually see the wood through it but I want it that way so it'll dry fast so I'm gonna do the back side of it and I'm gonna keep going and I'll be back to show you before I put the second coat on okay so I'm done with my first coat and don't get nervous you'll see that you know first coat looks pretty streaky and you're gonna think it's gonna take forever because it's not you know very thick but here's the difference between one coat and two coats Okay, so I have two coats on the door, right? I have two coats on the door and one coat there. So you can see a huge difference. The second coat, you know, makes it. But see how streaky and thin it is? And that looks very well covered. That's the difference between one coat and two coats. So I've already gone through almost a half of that little jar and I don't want to mix any more tonight um, because uh, might be the plaster of Paris I don't know but it does dry on the brush quicker so in between coats I do have to wash my brush because if I let it sit for any you know period of time then um, the brush starts the brush starts getting really hard uh, so I'm done with my first coat. I just did part of a second so that you could see the difference between first one coat and two coats. And now I'm gonna come back out tomorrow and finish putting the two coats on when I have enough time. My kids are getting, or my youngest is getting home from school. So when I have enough time, I'm gonna um, be able to sit down and do the whole second coat. So I'm gonna do it tomorrow so that I can mix some more paint uh, tomorrow as well. So, okay, second coat is coming.